Oh man, my ninjas, my ninjas. You. How we doing this weekend? Back on Sundays. You. You. Oh, fuck a Monday. And yeah, for now. I mean, yeah, I'm telling. I am never doing another Monday show again. I'm telling you, yeah. unless I'm off that day, I'm not doing shit. <laughs> but Hesh, how you doing, man? Good, man. Chill. Everything's good. Yeah. How's your weekend been? Uh, pretty good. Been uh, drinking since Thursday. Why? Yeah. Life. Yo, that okay? Oh, okay, so <clears throat> so the post that got, I guess, the most attention, right? The mm. shit with the like 105 Jello shots, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, they weren't Jello shots; they're just shots. But yeah. Shots of what? I don't even know. I didn't make them. Wait. That, I walked that, into that, the room and it was on the table. So they were just red jello? shots? That wasn't Jell-O? Yeah, no, nah, I think it's like the, she just mixed them. She made a mix. Or like, okay. Like vodka and they were and what? Oh, I don't, I don't even know. Vodka and vodka. what? Because that shit was brown. <laughs> no, nah, that shit was, well, some of them were brown. Because some of them, I don't know. Vodka nigga, and brandy. I didn't, I didn't make Yo, what is drink? wrong? Yo, so, so you just drank them? Yeah. Well, so no. So like <laughs> what happened is they, had, so my friends, they're cops and- um, <laughs> Put that up there. Yeah, they are. So they, no, so they have they have they and they work overnights. So they like had, weed and coke on the table. No, no, it was no drugs. But like, so they have like they have different schedules. They don't like have like Saturday, Sunday off. Yeah, yeah. So like, so Thursday or like the last time I know it was like a Wednesday night. Mm. It's like whatever. So they have a so they have um. We play this card game. It's like it's, it's a drinking game. Okay. It's so like you play, pick up a card. It'd be like some random shit. Like everybody wearing jeans has a drink, or oh, everybody shorter than you has to drink, or only the women drink, or only the men drink. Uh, people who wearing socks have to drink. It's like just, it's basically just an excuse to drink. So it's just oh, so. Okay. So when I walked in, they just had a fucking table full of shots, and it was like that's um, a throw last game. Eight, yeah. No, you get fucked up, dog. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. Because because <laughs> Hesh might have everything. It was like. <laughs> Especially with co- nah, never mind, I'm not gonna do it because they cops. <laughs> if you shot a black person this week, you take a drink. <laughs> that's fucked up. Nah, that's not that's not in a car. And all of the motherfuckers are minorities, so they're pretty sure they, know, was, right? they wasn't so, gonna shoot nobody. Yeah, yeah. Hesh, yo, Hesh only hang with Puerto Ricans. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. I'm, I'm like the only black person I know that Hesh hang with. That's not true. Some of my other friends that we hang out together with are black. I don't know them. Oh well. It's not my fault. <laughs> 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 I do, but yes, I, uh, my my closest friends are. Hispanic in nature. I think I thought he was Puerto Rican at one point. <laughs> no, I ain't never thought I was Puerto Rican. Yeah. Yeah, she's Hello, guys. Hello, guys. See, the nada. Hesh Lito Juarez. Yeah, I just be like, yeah, I'm Dominican. <laughs> what? <laughs> but but since Thursday, it's yeah, Sunday. Yeah, so that was Thursday. And then Friday, I went to the strip club with my boy. So he's like, yeah, you want to go? I was like, fuck it, why not? Mm hmm. Got super drunk at the strip club. Should not have done that. Um, but I did. Told some bitch you love her. No, yeah. no, 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 no. Okay. No, 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 no. I only got one lap dance. I, I fucking ain't trying to spend all the money like that. So fuck that. Um, strip club. Says, I like, I like, says the nigga that went to the strip club to spend unnecessary money on women. He don't know. <laughs> to be fair, it was not my money. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I don't. I like. I like strip clubs, but also it's like a love hate thing. It's like yay. Then it's also like. Well, I ain't gonna fuck you, so I don't know why. <laughs> so, well, I mean, I mean, you can. You go to the right one. Well, okay, yeah, yeah, I guess you're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. What's the password? <laughs> Robo flavor. Bacon. <laughs> <laughs> One chick, I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> nah, because I went to go get a lap dance with her, right? And I'm just gonna, yo, she's super fucking drunk, right? She's like, mm, you know, you want to fuck me. I'm just like, uh, I mean, whip sure. it out, dude. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, I always, always sick world we live in. Yeah, yeah. And then yesterday, sometimes you gotta whip out. Yeah, I had to try, try, <laughs> try it right quick. Yeah. How yeah, serious are so, you? <laughs> I mean, sometimes you gotta see if they're serious, but you know. Nah, he wasn't serious. I'm like, get the fuck off me. He's <laughs> a <laughs> bitch. And then yesterday, so today, so I, I gotta try to get out of here as soon as possible because today is my goddaughter's birthday party. So yesterday, oh, happy birthday. Well, her birthday was Friday, but okay. Know, so anyway, um, they're doing laser tag at the at the house, so they built like a whole thing in the backyard. Oh, y'all niggas got money. <laughs> <laughs> Because it's just creative, so yeah. they build like a little stuff in the backyard. And so yesterday we was over there like testing the, testing the shit out for the kids, and then we was drinking, mm-hmm. and then I drank, and then today Sunday, okay. and I drink again when I get there. Oh man, your life! Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good one, but it's one. <sighs> Baba Lab, mm. how you doing, man? All right, everything's good. Yeah, wasn't as wasn't as exciting as Hester's weekend. No, um, but I keep getting DMs about Hesh's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> 
you. <laughs> Why did DM me? Yo, just DM me. Because it's scary know. to ask you. Like, yo, is Hesh okay? No. <laughs> right? like, I don't know. He's alive, I think. This yeah, nigga was like, I think I nigga text me back. So I'm like, because first somebody asked me, what did I, what did I wish Whisper to Dom on episode 49? I was like, oh, that was, look at that. That's what that was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> then, then he was like, yo, I'm listening to episode 50. Like, what's wrong with Hesh? I said, I don't know. <laughs> Dog, I don't, I do not know. Wait, what happened episode 50? <laughs> you drinking, nigga. Just you. Uh, you being you. Uh, you want to put the bottle down. Don't. Oh, yeah. yeah. Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I, don't know. I forgot about that. Look. <laughs> Look, man, sometimes you gotta live. No, sometimes you living you too live. hard, though. <laughs> You've been living like this for far too long. <laughs> What's the alternative? I feel like when we get. Longer. <laughs> What happened? You feel like what? I feel like when we get when we get more famous, you're gonna be the Dennis Robin of the group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, okay, Yo, I'm, I'm telling man. you, when I'm not Hesh, wearing no dresses, when the Hesh when Hesh gets some female love or some shit, <laughs> you'll come with a like, parrot on his shoulder yeah. and shit. <laughs> like, what the fuck is this? I think it's gonna be drunk Nico. at every at every fucking live Function? show. It's uh, like, well, that's yeah, what the fuck supposed to do. Uh, I don't know, yeah. but you're not gonna catch me in a wedding dress, so no, I'm not gonna be Dennis Robin. Wow, I don't got no hair, so I can't dye the shit. And I'm probably not gonna get no more piercings. So. What? Okay. No, I'm just saying, just rob me. I, I, I ain't gonna yeah. be wild like a nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be drunk, but it's a <laughs> celebration, bitches. <laughs> Life's a celebration. You gotta celebrate yeah. life. You gotta enjoy the shit. You gotta embrace the joy and celebrate <laughs> it. Nigga, you be celebrating nothing. <laughs> 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 Fucking play me here. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrate you made it. Yeah, like, like, oh well, shit, I'm alive it. today. <laughs> I knew fucking off myself this afternoon. Oh shit, I'm here. I, I was drinks on the table. <laughs> I woke up this morning. Oh yeah. shit. Time to celebrate. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Good <Love> morning. <laughs> How was your weekend? I ain't do shit but work. No, Wake up, I Mr. Hesh, Mr. Hesh. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. West, Mr. Hesh, Mr. Fresh. He too drunk to take his test. He, too- <laughs> he like D's, motherfucker. D's. D's. <laughs> but the D means stand for depressed. <laughs> <laughs> SoundCloud, iTunes, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, YouTube, iHeartRadio. Where the fuck Yo, you get your... none of that was written down. <laughs> none of that shit. shit was written down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where the fuck you get your podcast? We are there. Three Ninjas Podcast at gmail.com. For any comments, questions, or concerns, if you want your question answered in the Ask a Ninja segment, you can reach us there. That's Three Ninjas Podcast at gmail.com. Also, you can submit your question. Look at merch. Find links to our other uh social media websites at three ninjas podcast.com. That's three, the number three ninjas podcast.com. Um, yeah, support us on Patreon if you can. Uh, look at the merch if you can. Buy something, support us in any way that you can. Even you just putting someone, someone else onto the show is helpful. So appreciate all the support. Appreciate everyone for rocking with us, even through Hesh's bullshit. Appreciate you guys. All right. I, yo, when I tell you I love you, I mean it. <laughs> I'm just saying, nigga. <laughs> I need something to bring your mood. Something. Something. I'm like, in a good mood right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't account for the other six days I don't see you. <laughs> so, <laughs> Eshlito Juarez. <laughs> <laughs> what question we got, man? Uh, this question goes: <clears throat> How do you guys feel about Phase Four of the MCU right now? That the OG Avengers are kind of stepping down, and I don't know who that. Came That's from, from uh, that dude Rico okay. on Instagram. Cool. So, how do we feel about the? How do how do we feel? He says Phase Four. Yeah, phase, so basically do, all the like all the shit they just how announced. How do we feel about Phase Four with, with everything they announced and the OG Avengers stepping down? Um, eventually everything has to come to an end. Yeah. Uh, you can't keep these motherfuckers forever. Nice. Um, Marvel did their job. I want to say. Um, they took some, uh, I guess, lesser known characters or some C-list characters, and they made them household names. Damn near, right. you know. Um, you know, 
I well, we knew about you know like the Tony Starks and the Iron. I mean, mm, same I, person, <clears throat> same person. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Tony Starks and the Captain Americas and the Thors, Thors. and shit like that. And, but um, you know, they really brought them to the forefront, and now that they're at the, I guess at their pre, that their pre- peak, peak precipice. Peak. Yes. <laughs> now <laughs> there's there's nowhere else you can go. I don't think that Cap is gone for good uh, as well. Tony, that nigga dead, dead. <laughs> um, Thor, you could still, you know, do some shit with his storyline. So Thor ain't going nowhere for a while. I don't, I don't think. But um, you know, they they laid the groundwork. You know, it's this thing of you know. Yeah, I mean, Scarlet Witch dead. Scarlet Witch dead. I mean, not Scarlet Witch. Uh, I mean, um, Black, Black Widow. Yeah, I always, but yeah, I don't. Yeah, I, know, I, mean, always, fucking, yeah. I, I don't think she's she's dumb. But it's like you know, you gotta lay the groundwork for shit. It's yeah, like, plus you know, I, yeah, plus they're doing all this fucking multiverse dimensional shit. So I think that's an excuse. Yeah, nobody's to, really gone for good. Like no yeah. one in the comics has ever really gone for good. And <laughs> I think that's the same for the MCU. Yeah. So you know. Yeah. <clears throat> Dr. J, you know, crawl so MJ could, could walk. <laughs> MJ walked so Kobe could fly. You know what I mean? Kobe flew so LeBron James could fast break, uh, speed behind the back, dunk on your fucking head top. And have a regrowing hairline. In fact, I mean, <laughs> yeah, when you got money, you do anything. Uh, that's want. why I, it's just that's so why, bad, though. That's why I need y'all. To, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, dog, this shit gone. <laughs> nah, I'm getting it back. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't try to back. roll game when you was using it. You ain't use the fucking. Uh, nah, I'm getting it back. All right, my nigga. <laughs> Yo, has to grow a hairline back. It's over for you, bitches. I got a hairline. Can I, I tell you, that's the fucking thing. I got a hairline. It's just the, it's just, the top it's just, part it's is just back. Oh, you, oh, no, it's not even back. This oh, is, you, oh, you got the sunroof? No, it's not even. It's just it's like thin. It don't fill in all the way. So it's like, uh, oh, gross. It's not gonna be all there. So, so you like, just yanked the So I just let it say fuck it because oh, so you still got hope. Yeah, you still got. That's what I'm saying. I need y'all niggas to help a nigga out so a nigga can fucking get the fucking get the, the get the, the headline yeah. get the walkers but um yeah man it's it's you know phase four, I don't I don't know about phase one until I actually see something so yeah, true. I, I'm not the you know most optimistic when it comes to that um because I don't know where the storyline is headed especially at the end of Spider Man what they did that shit yeah. yeah. I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know how that incorporates into the other heroes. I don't know how that incorporates into the Avengers because now that they know Spider-Man's identity, who the fuck is anybody else? Now they got to know Cap. Now they well, they know. But that's that's the thing. Most of the Avengers are don't right. have secret identities. Like mm-hmm. Steve Rogers, they knew Steve who Steve Rogers was because yeah. he was a uh, like a war prop back in the day. So, yeah, yeah, so they yeah. knew it was... And, yeah, and the I first Iron right. Man, Iron Man's like that. Thor is a You're god, right. so he's Thor. You're right, yeah. Black Widow outed herself at the end of... Winter Soldier, whatever, Winter whichever Soldier. one that was, I think it was Winter, Winter Soldier. Soldier. Mm. So most of them niggas didn't have uh, secret identities, and even like with, uh, Scarlet Witch, she doesn't really have a secret identity. Like, and Vision yeah. is a robot, so they don't really yeah. do secret identities that much. Yeah, Spider Man did because he's young, more, more so DC. Yeah, thing. it made it made sense for him. Um, but I mean Hawkeye, I don't even think he really has secret identity like nah, that either. Mm. So I mean Ant Man did, but even he, even the government knows who he is now. So yeah. like most, so they Stop don't even. Me. So that that's so them knowing that he's Spider Man is less of an issue, just less. It's the pretending to that is that they know who he is, and then he they framed him for mysterious murder type of thing. Mm. So that's where the conflict comes in more than Damn. him having his identity out there. Well, uh, uh, I'm I'm just thinking of the you remember that you remember that uh, <laughs> Spider Man from back in the day, the '90s cartoon mm-hmm. with uh, Punisher. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, when he, yeah, yeah, he tried to hunt that, hunt him down and shit. Yeah, that oh. that could have happened. I mean, I mean, they could still probably do some shit like that. Uh, but they got weak. But how y'all feel about Phase Four? And, I'm ex- and, and OGs from what they showed us dropping down yeah man the kind of trash I won't say trash because <clears throat> Marvel has yet to like fully completely disappoint I mean this could be the first time for everything obviously like it's the same it's the same thing with, like Guardians of the Galaxy I didn't know who the fuck Guardians of the Galaxy was really yeah. until they made the movie and the movie's good now I like those characters same thing so I don't know much about Shang-Chi but maybe that could be really good um I don't know shit about the Eternals but maybe that could be good so like until I but obviously like until I see a trailer or something I'm not super excited just because I don't know a lot about those characters myself and then with the OG stepping down it, it makes sense it's like with Hugh Jackman over and like you can only do this shit for so long you'll only want to fucking work out super crazy eat boiled chicken for like so long <laughs> just to be fucking rip for the especially like Chris Hemsworth because he's he definitely has to like stay Keep super in shape, in shape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. and and Chris Evans like um, Robert Downey Jr. he was in shape but he didn't have to he oh, wore he's about to get fat now yeah he, <laughs> but he wore a suit so he that's had what to, I like, be doing hell yeah, yeah. get super in shape but like them niggas have to get really in shape yeah. because you know that's what they gotta do so obviously you don't want to have to do that all the time it's like to stay that in shape because it's like there's a difference between yeah, like between I worked out, like, I worked out, and it's and like then, peak oh, yeah, like I'm in this shape, movie, fucking cut, ripped yeah, everywhere, dehydrating yourself so your fucking muscles is fucking pop, popping out and all shit. Like so they don't want to do all that shit forever, mm-hmm. and they get older and fucking 
obviously Thor might not supposed to age like regular, but fucking Chris yeah. Hemsworth ages like a regular person. So when he's fucking seventy eight, he can't fucking be Thor. <laughs> yeah. So right. eventually, I mean, he could be, he could well, be he like could be old Thor. Yeah, they could do some yeah, old, old nigga, Thor. Will shit. Smith is <laughs> Will <laughs> Smith oh, playing right. Will Smith. <laughs> you know what? You're right. I forgot about CGI technology. CGI some muscles on the end. <laughs> you're right. So yeah, I, bring obviously. back Stan Lee if we want. Nigga. <laughs> right. Oh, that. Yeah. Yeah. So eventually they're gonna want to step down, up. and I think Chris Hemsworth is probably gonna stick around the longest because. Yeah, but he do, cannot get another movie. But Bobby, do you think it's trash because we don't have like a, I guess a solid, a solid lead? Where it's like, okay, we had Captain America, we had Iron Man, we had a big three, we had Thor. Now we, it's just like, oh, it's just random stuff for grabs now. Yeah, yeah, it's mm. definitely random people. That the Eternals, I feel like is gonna be good, but like the lineup they set up, uh, if I'm being honest, it kind of doesn't make any sense to me. Name recognition. Yeah, with the Shang-Chi thing and the Blade thing, like if they're in Avengers, it kind of don't make sense. If they had made their own like MCU defenders, then I'd, I'd fuck with it. Mm-hmm. The whole Blade and Shang-Chi thing. And Which they might be. Yeah. Something I don't like about the Eternals too is that they changed the sex of a lot of characters too. Oh, they did? Yeah. They did, but I don't Like, know, you know, know Salma Hayek's playing one that was yeah. originally a man. Um, It was like I think one or two other ones that were originally men, but now they're women. I'm like, yo, this inclusion I feel like they gotta shit. stop doing it. <laughs> it, it. I'm telling you, it was getting too much. It's getting too yeah. obvious. We see the play from a mile away, so yeah. it's like... How, oh, how, that's a bar. How, so how <laughs> much... Play from a mile away? How much more... Duffy. <laughs> so how much more of this shit are we gonna see? How much more of this like, inclusion shit do we have to do for everyone to feel comfortable or feel like everyone's getting equal rights in movies and getting paid the same and this that and the third like i'm just tired i just want to see a good fucking movie yeah. i don't really care who's in it but i'm just tired of like the obvious you know play on shit well, the, i don't know the thing with eternals is like again i didn't know shit about eternals i mean like, I the get average it. person ain't gonna know shit about eternals so I, you making the dude a chick ain't yeah really but hurt nothing because i don't know shit about but him. if you're in the comics i'm pretty sure you read like the online yeah forums and shit yeah. and you see like oh they doing this they gender bending this person they yeah. changing the sex of this person this person supposed to be this but now he this or now she this i'm like so, all right, right man now that you think about it i think that's one of the reasons why they're putting these big names in eternals because people don't it, eternals is a big fucking deal i'll talk to you about this yeah i was like yo this shit is a really big deal niggas ain't Niggas ain't got no this, hype around it like this, that. This explains why yeah. everyone has fucking superpowers. Yeah, it explains yeah. mutants. Like, yeah. Yeah. It, nobody gives a shit. It's like because they don't know yet. They don't yeah, know yeah, that, yeah. They, that they need to know. They'll figure it out when they see the movie. Yeah. Um, but I'll never complain. Uh, at a chance to see Selma Hayek on a movie screen. Selma Hayek, Selma Selma Hayek, Hayek top mm-hmm. five ever. Yeah, like fifty, still bad. Mm-hmm. That's sexiest Mexican I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, wasn't she in Jane Silent Bob? Yeah. Yeah. No, she was in Dogma. She was in Jane Silent Bob too. Was she? she yeah, with, with, the, with the Dogma monster. The, 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 the shit monster. The shit monster, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was in Jay Silent Bob? Yeah, she was. I don't remember that. She was I know she was in Dogma. What, what, the, um, the scene where the shit monster came. That's Dogma, ain't it? I, With uh, Chris Rock? Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's Dogma. Dogma. Oh, what's Dogma? Yeah. yeah. Why Dogma. did I think that was Jay Silent Bob? Because uh, Ben Affleck was yeah. in it. Yeah, and, Ben Affleck. Um, oh, got you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because them niggas running together. Goodwill yeah, Hunter. What's yeah. this nigga named? Matt Damon. Matt Damon. Call him Goodwill. My brain. My brain froze on Matt Damon. I can just remember the movie. <laughs> but yeah, with Phase Four, I guess we'll see. It's nothing uh, solid with us. I guess it's just something that we just gonna have to to fill out and wait till it comes out and yeah, see so what the fuck they that. give us. Because I don't really know a lot of the characters, like a lot of the movie. Obviously, I'm excited to see Blade and shit. But yeah, besides but that, obviously like, they have a good track record. So <laughs> I mean, they haven't let us down when it comes to I guess starting at one point and then ending on a on a good note. So I mean. And then it's kind of hard when you're like used to shit and like people hate change a lot. Yeah. So it's like I've been used to these characters for you know since I was young. Yeah, like ten years. Like, yeah, yeah, like if if you like fucking if you were six when Iron Man one came out and now you what sixteen, seventeen, eighteen yeah. when this shit come out, it's like yo, I grew up, up with these you. niggas. Yo, now the shit over. Man. <laughs> now now these niggas is going. Now I got to get used to a whole new set of characters that I don't know that yeah. you probably should do research on. I mean, a lot of people don't do that. I, like I that kind of peeves me when people don't do their research on shit where it's like all right so you're in this i guess field and you don't do your research and you don't in the, the backlog you don't like if you're a rapper mm. you don't listen to older music to see you know what the styles was what it were like you know the shift was and shit like that mm. like yo you gotta know your history and shit but you know that's just me yeah. but whatever um are we doing another question Nah, fuck that. No, <laughs> I mean we can't. Wait, we can talk about this is fucking that tweet shit, but I don't. Yeah, it's I mean, that, that tweet. Oh, that. I don't know. I don't know. It's up to, it's up to, it's up to y'all. If y'all want to talk about, it, we can talk about. We'll talk about it, Bobby. All right. All right. What's the question? I mean, the question was <clears throat> like, "Hey, fellas, how's your day been going? 
whether it's been good or bad. I don't mean to make it worse, but I'm really interested in hearing your thoughts and opinions about this video. And then he gives you the link to the video and then you watch the video. And the video is just um so uh, ordering. Yeah, I'll I'll put in the link. Yeah. You know it, I mean, order the audio somewhere. This is a guy talking about I guess this is somebody I, is a former Blizzard employee who now works at Marvel or used to work at Marvel and now works at Blizzard, whatever it is, um, made a tweet calling Stanley racist. <clears throat> and like if there's like if they ever got a job at Marvel, they could try to tear down Stanley's legacy and then that was like the tweet and then the dude spent fucking 14 minutes talking about the shit and I was like I'm not watching this whole fucking video <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I mean if if they can't verify that it was a real tweet because it yeah. says on the on the YouTube yeah like, he that pinned a comment it's like, a pinned a comment like this is a, probably fake, a tweet. fake tweet probably a fake tweet but if it is a fake tweet then we don't need to give it no light I yeah, mean if it's like, not a fake tweet and somebody just took it down and erased that shit from the ethos yeah um, I mean, Stanley be... probably was racist. I don't know what the fuck to tell y'all. He's old as shit. He was born in like nine. I don't know what year it was. At least nineteen thirteen, right? <laughs> some, some yeah, crazy. Some, some far. He, he was he was alive before fucking segregation was a thing. Like, so if you used to sit here and tell me that like, Stanley had some maybe uh not great <laughs> racial things to do and say, I'd be like, probably. It should be hard to be racist if you're Jewish. Yeah, it should be you hard as fuck. That, you would think like, so. You would think that. <laughs> it should be you hard would as think fuck. That. But if it is a real tweet, um, if this woman is going to try to tear down Stan Lee's legacy, that's going to be pretty hard. True. Um, because younger kids don't give a fuck about that. Teenagers don't give a fuck about that. Nope. Um, if we were to happen to actually see some footage of Stan Lee saying some racist shit or something that he wrote down that was racist, yeah. that would change the game. But, you know, it's it's people from back in the day that... Because it was this whole thing a couple months ago about the lady that sings... Uh, what the fuck is it? Some song that they play at Yankee Stadium, and it's like she sang a oh, song like great. back in the day, like uh, about no, <laughs> God. it was something about uh, black people and cotton or like watermelon or something like that, like darkies go to heaven or some shit. I don't know. It was it was something wild, <laughs> <laughs> like all dogs go to heaven, all yeah, darkies like, go to heaven. Yeah, it was like all darkies go to somewhere, and it was like all right, it was, it was a song that she sang. It was like oh, she's racist, so they took down her statue and they stopped playing that song at Yankee Stadium. I don't know, but <laughs> if if you give me evidence that Stan Lee was racist or he did some racist shit or like cut something out because of his I guess racial feelings, then. I'll take it into into consideration. Man, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna stop looking yeah. at Marvel shit. Man, but. look, look. By that logic, get Walt Disney the fuck up out of here. Oh yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, Walt, Walt Disney was anti-Semitic. He was yeah, racist. Yeah. He was sexist. Yeah, I mean, sure. like, get this nigga out of here. But you know, Disney is thriving. Like you can't. It's, it's it's impossible to tear down that Disney name at this point because yeah, they, they have the so world, much man. money and so much power, and they have their hands in so much stuff. <laughs> you know how much of an oxymoron that is? It is. Like I mean, Disney owns Marvel, but. Marvel, Stan Lee was a part of it. Stan Lee's a Jewish. And then yeah. Walt Disney's anti. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> dog, my, yo, they don't give a fuck about color. Only color they care about is green, my nigga. Well, and they got George Lucas shit. To be fair, Walt Disney was mad dead by the time they acquired yeah, Disney. Yeah, um, I know. Uh, it's, uh, it's just Marvel. ironic. Yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> if you're gonna align yourself with somebody, you should yeah. at least know what the fuck they stood for. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he knew he was anti-Semitic. <laughs> Only color that matters. That, that matters track? is green. Yeah. It don't really, it don't really fucking matter. Like, oh, he said some shit back in the day, and then you got to put like time into it I guess when you want to talk about shit like that like oh back in the day you know I guess it was commonplace for white people to feel that way like eh yeah. <laughs> still don't make it right my nigga but mm-hmm. cool I don't know. I don't. I don't even know if, if that's a real tweet. Yeah, me neither. Given the energy, I don't even. I'm not know, canceling Stan Lee, so I have a reason to. Exactly. Yeah. So when you reason niggas reason. give me some evidence, yeah. then I'll cancel Stan Lee. If he if he made Black Panther and it said, oh, we got to throw something in there for the niggers. If you got that on tape, <laughs> then I, I'm I'm still watching every movie. I'm still reading every comic. I'm still yo. Y'all got to read Power of X. Nigga, Damn, what? That's what I meant to do. Them shits, nigga. They made a yo. If they keep going with this shit, they they erase everything that you know of the of the X Men so oh, far. Facts. <laughs> nigga, Nick, nigga, nigga. <sighs> All right, so let's do other topics. Um, <laughs> let's see, reviews. So movie reviews. We got Hobbs and Shaw. Hobbs and Shaw. We will. Mm. Now, this nigga didn't see it. I did not. <laughs> nope. I saw it. Oh, so oh, you seen it? Today? Mm-hmm. Wait, wait. I'm proud of you. Today? Yeah, bootleg. Oh. Yeah. Hey, oh, look at you out here thriving <laughs> yeah. and shit. I was like, you know what? I'm going to try to find this shit. Typed yeah. in a couple shit, went on a dark web. I was like, oh, shit, yeah. titties. No, I want to see that. No. <laughs> Hobbs, Hobbs and Shaw. <laughs> Nigga, I don't need no new liver. Get out of here. Hobbs and Shaw. I was like, okay, cool. The movie was uh, pretty good. It wasn't as bad as they was, was saying it was. Yes. But I do have a problem with it being too, uh, too goofy. A little too goofy. I mean... 
I mean, nigga, they had Kevin Hart in it. Come on, yeah, Kevin Hart was, was in it. Yes, oh, nigga. When I tell him. you, I almost closed his laptop. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you, because I, I had read some headline where it was, uh, it was said Hobbs and Shaw review, and it said it had two big uh, celeb cameos, yeah. and I didn't, I didn't read the article, but then I was watching the movie, and then when Kevin Hart pops, I'm like, Hey guys, hey guys, come on. He, he, was he Kevin Hart playing Kevin Hart? Or nah, he, was, yeah. nah, he was playing like pretty was, much, pretty much. But he was like a, like an air marshal. Yeah, wow. and shit. They it, it was a scene where they was on a plane and uh, Hobbs and Shaw was arguing, yeah. and then Kevin Hart turns around and sees start talking shit, and then uh, he tries to incorporate himself into like the uh, the gang. He was like, "Yo, yeah. y'all, y'all, y'all need y'all a third need me. Mm-hmm. He was like, "Yo, here's my card, here's yeah. my resume. Yeah. If y'all need a third, yo, let me know. Call Name me." Was Dinkley or some shit. Yeah, like some some <laughs> dumb shit. Hobbs Shaw Dinkley. and the midget man. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> can't say midget. Hobbs Shaw and the little person man. There you go. What about Kevin? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, it was funny. It was just like, come on, man. I, I understand you and The Rock. You know, y'all cool, but fuck. God I mean, damn, you don't man. think the theatrics made it kind of funny, too, where you had to have some humor in it? I mean, it wasn't but not all, that. That was just like, all goofy. It was right? already funny when they was talking back and forth. Then Kevin Hart just like, hey, guys. Like, yeah. Oh, my God. Are you fucking. Dog, when I tell you, I roll my eyes to the back <laughs> of my fucking head so hard. <laughs> I was like, nigga. I I'm guess. T- I'm sick of this. I like. I know you cool with the rock, but I'm sick of this nigga. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess I gotta make it a little different from the fast movies. Like, you know what I mean? So make I mean, it, it is, more, it is, yeah. more funnier than those would be. Yeah. There's some comedy in that. They bro. don't go ahead and, and incorporate this shit in the Transformers or some shit, <laughs> nigga. Hobbs Shaw, the little man. Dog, man. I am with. Just, you gotta get that. What the fuck is wrong with you, man? <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Yo, because he wanted to say midget again. <laughs> That's the shit. Like, like, what the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? <laughs> now, nah, but um, yeah. when Idris was on the fucking motorcycle and that shit kept woom, woom, oh, yeah. I was like, yo, this should be dope as a Transformer. Like, I can see Rock in Transformers. <laughs> and then it, this kind of solidifies some shit for me. Like, there is a motorcycle like, transformer. He didn't even do that. He didn't, he didn't even do all that shit. <laughs> he didn't even transform. But like, right? this weekend, like, solidifies some shit with me. Like, yo, I love The Rock. Yeah. Like, as a as a human, yeah. I don't know what he's like behind the scenes when that camera's not in his face. But nice guy. He's, he's a, a fuck yo. Nice he's guy. just a great guy. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> like I love like him and Drake. I realized I love Drake this weekend. Like I used to be like on the fence with Drake, and then I'm like, oh, I, I fuck with Drake. I love Drake. I really love Drake now. <laughs> like I was kind of petty though. Dog, I was listening to that Care Package uh, mixtape <laughs> album shit. Yeah, I was like, yo. This nigga really makes some good songs. <laughs> yeah, and those are just Lucy's. And he just... keeps making them. That's yeah. Like, I love this nigga. <laughs> Dwayne and Drake. Dwayne and Drake. <laughs> Fucking with him. Drake. <laughs> but um, yeah, movie was cool. Movie yeah. um centered around, you know, a woman, obviously, as always. Uh, <laughs> every fucking movie centers around a woman. She she steals this uh virus and uh she puts it into herself. She like yeah. sticks herself with a needle and like she's don't, don't the say virus. it. Don't say it. I already yeah. see you looking. It's this viral thing that can kill the entire world. <laughs> don't don't it say it. It might be AIDS. Don't <laughs> <laughs> not be <laughs> we don't know what it is. But she had super AIDS. <laughs> she got the, no, no. the magic. No, she the magic. Do you believe in magic? Oh my god! But um, turns out the woman is uh Shaw's sister. What? <laughs> it's really hard to do a show with you guys. It's magic. I wish I do that. Song. It's really, it's really hard to try to imagine that we're getting somewhere when you niggas just keep. Yo, it's to the point where I know we're going about to say some crazy shit. And I was like, all right, uh, I see. Because I, I see has moved. Every I, time I, has moved like this is coming. <laughs> Like, like he feels the dumb shit in his chest. <laughs> like, he tries to stop it, but then it overpowers it. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, just hold it in. Oh, God man. damn it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, good movie, good stunts. Um, it's kind of on the... I mean, it's a movie, but, yeah, it's, yeah. but it's still like on the unbelievable side with like a lot of shit with cars flying out of nowhere and like now, right. the, now they got tow trucks with fucking NOS in them. <laughs> right. right. Yeah. Like, uh, fucking the rock is swinging down on a on a on a steel wire yeah. with bare hands and yeah, shit. His just, hands don't get okay, chewed yeah. up. Okay. Nigga <laughs> like jumping out a window from man to man. Right. And then it's oh, it's just a lot of not goofy shit, but it's just like that's not it's unbelievable. Really but real. Super over the top. But yeah, it's like but, over I mean the, top the Fast and Furious movies have got like that too. Yeah. There's yeah. a lot of wild shit in that there too and that it do too. They might as well incorporate this shit in like some superhero shit because yeah. well, Yo, then, I was thinking that too. 
Damn near, because it's fucking... And, and then when I was talking about with the Transformers shit, they made Hobbs damn near a fucking Autobot or fucking Decepticon. <laughs> it was like, yo, why is this nigga so strong? I thought they injected him with, with some type of serum or something. Like, nah, they putting fucking robotics in his spine Oh, you made uh, shit. Brixton. Brixton, yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, Idris, he's, he's Brixton, whatever the fuck you want to call him. Yeah. Black but Superman. yeah, like, if you watch the movie long enough, cause when I tell you, I almost closed this laptop. <laughs> <laughs> like, you can see, like, they're doing experiments on him because he was supposed to be dead because I guess yeah, him and Shaw used to be on the team and Shaw shot him. Of course. But I guess yeah. he didn't die and I guess they brought him back to life with, like, some old superpower shit. So they putting <clears> all this shit in his back they, and now he's like a <laughs> robo nigga. <laughs> <laughs> so now he fucking shit up, but, like, and he's fighting uh the Rock and Shaw and when he punches they don't die but he can lift cars and shit yeah that's kind of weird I was like alright man but I, I get it as a it, it, it was an enjoyable movie it wasn't yeah. it didn't take itself too serious to mm-hmm. where it's like oh I'm trying to win a fucking Academy Award or Oscar but it's like it gave you enough action to be like oh this is an enjoyable movie I just want to see some shit on like a random Friday date night Saturday shit it was like some Starsky and Hutch shit yeah it was right. something like that where it was like yo we just and then it was a point in the movie where, like, you got through a good portion of the movie where you didn't see, like, any car action. It was like, all right, mm. are they separating themselves from Fast, Fast, and, Fast and Furious completely? But then, you know, they start incorporating cars. They start driving cars and yeah. shit. And then, you know, they start involving helicopters and cars and all this different shit. And it's like, oh, there goes the element of Fast and Furious in it still. I know Tyrese is somewhere pissed. Crying. Because, <laughs> yeah. yo, Ty- Tyrese could have been Kevin Hart on the plane. Yeah, right. He could have been. But it was like, nah, we don't need you in this mission, bro. Turn around in your seat. Go go back on that bus singing. <laughs> <laughs> but Damn, um, nigga. they yeah. had they had Ryan Reynolds in it. He did his Deadpool thing. Ryan, yo, I can't get that nigga voice out. He he's right. always Deadpool. Like no matter what, <laughs> no matter what movies he plays, he just he's, he's always a smart ass. Yeah. He's always like just condescending and an asshole. And then he just plays the part so well. It's like when I hear him, I just like this ain't a Deadpool movie. <laughs> any <laughs> any good like Easter eggs or something like that? Um, the Han come back to life. N- that's the one. That's one thing that's pissing me off. It's like, yo, this nigga killed Han, man. Yeah, like, <laughs> I, I still ain't like, for that. Why they cool? That. Yeah, why they cool? This nigga for killing Han. Like, yeah, yeah, but apparently, I mean, whoever Han, Han wasn't a part of the fucking cop force. He don't care about Han. Hmm. Nah, but I'm just saying they murk. He murked that Mur- nigga. He yeah. murked him, but but these niggas is cool. With that yeah, nigga. Yeah, it's like yo, no, nah, kill Han, kill Han, dog. I mean, they worked in the last Fast and Furious. They worked. They worked with him because they had to. It's yeah, not because they was cool with him. But Hobbs and Shaw was like they have an obvious chemistry. It's like, all right, so. I, I don't have any ties to like Hans the underworld or, or of like you know like, yeah. yeah like the original fast crew like I don't have any real ties and I'm like I'm a cop yeah. so it's like you killed somebody that was doing some illegal shit like eh it's fucked that up you kill somebody go but. and get some popcorn <laughs> I don't know what he's doing he died I don't, I don't know <laughs> yeah. he killed the fuck out of him for no reason he said yeah. I'm coming for you I'm like nigga I'm talking my dick yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but one of the um, Easter eggs is um whoever Brixton was talking to apparently they know Luke Hobbs mm-hmm. uh, I don't know who it is though it's just you know, it's on some Dr. Claw shit. Yeah, it was like, <laughs> was it was like, like what like the fuck is this? Gadget. Charlie. Fuck, fuck from, from uh, Charlie's Angels and shit. Yeah. Just I, had a I, I, reverb I just, on his voice. Yeah, I just hope that it's not anybody who wasn't in the series. <clears throat> then I'll be like, okay. It's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be. Because they're, they're making their own world, so it's gonna be a whole new nigga. Yeah, they, they have to introduce uh, a whole new nigga where it's like, yo, he's the the mastermind behind the shit. And they basically making super soldiers. He's gonna end up being right? a dad or some shit. That'd be dope. Right. Be the Rock's dad played by Kevin Hart. <laughs> <laughs> or no, not my. No, I take that back. Played by Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> I, do it. I, do it. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if, if he was like uh, Brixton's son in like the next one or some shit. Like you niggas, oh, shit. you niggas killed my dad <laughs> with a British accent. He got to do a British accent though. Like, Oi! <laughs> <laughs> but all in all, it was, it's, a, it's, it's a cool movie. Yeah, it's it a good. um, you know, it's not it's not a bad movie. All the I guess negative, not negative, but uh. Not so favorable comments it's uh-huh. been getting aren't you know really that bad. I give it a seven point five out of ten. It yeah, same thing. It wasn't that bad. It was, it was it was a cool movie. Yo, The Rock don't make horrible movies. Yeah, he don't. He don't at all. Told you even skyscraper was good. I was I was surprised. Yeah, <laughs> like yo, The Rock. Yo, he's a great guy. <laughs> just can't help but love The Rock and see him and just be like, yo, this a cool guy. <laughs> I'd like to have a drink with him. And then like they they started putting like um like. I, I, I guess the Easter egg in this was like they put like his cheat day shit that he be doing oh, on yeah. Instagram in there. Oh, yeah. oh, it was like, yeah. yo, he got a like a stack of pancakes. It was like, oh, he with his shit. daughter, she get like two. This nigga got like twelve. <laughs> yeah. And shit. But you know, shout out to the rock, yo. 
They Fuck. had uh, you know, they had Roman Reigns and shit in it. Yeah, they had Roman That's Reigns in there. They was doing wrestling moves and shit yeah. in the movie. <laughs> like, like he threw him a nigga. He slammed the nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, all right, cool, man. I get yeah. it. I thought he would have more lines, but he had no lines. He just nah, he just he just, he just he just big and yeah. long hair. Yo, this nigga is a lot bigger than I thought he was. Who the Rock? No, nah, Roman, um, Roman Reigns. Oh yeah, Roman Reigns big as fuck, man. Yeah, this motherfucker. I don't know. Maybe maybe watching that shit on like the WWE, watching him up there, and watching him in movies. This motherfucker is fucking. Nigga, I didn't know huge. how big John Cena was until I actually seen him like outside the ring. I'm yeah, like, this nigga is fucking he, huge. Like, like he <laughs> might like height wise, he ain't bigger than a rock, but like whiff, he yeah. like he might be <laughs> bigger than a rock. You know? <laughs> like that nigga's fucking huge. Yeah, but shout out to everybody in that movie. Shout, shout out to that movie. Um, when it's fast, what nine, eight? I'm pretty fucking, sure it's nine. Seven? nine. I don't know. Not, I'm pretty I, sure it's I'm, nine is coming. I think it's I don't nine. know, but. <laughs> If, if they if they incorporate Kevin Hart in that shit, replacing Man. Tyrese, oh, I swear for God. Lord, I'm throwing out Not every fast Yo, that DVD. That shit might I got. come. That shit might come. I'm throwing out every fast DVD I got. <laughs> Why? I'm not watching that shit when it comes. I'm not watching Tokyo Drift no more. <laughs> I'm not watching shit with Ja Rule no more. No Monica. <laughs> I can't. I can't do this shit. I can't. I'm t- no. I don't need Kevin Hart to know. Yeah, you do. No. You can be like vroom vroom. Mini mom sky. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> so next thing that we have to review is Amazon's The Boys. Uh, I did not see that. Oh no. You didn't see none of them? No, Any of it? Chance to. Oh, oh my Jesus. Nigga, you should watch that did shit. Did you see all of them? Yeah, I watched it. Nigga. Yo. <laughs> so we <wheel>, will. <laughs> um <laughs> we will Eddie. This it's a spoiler, Eddie. <laughs> This might be one of my favorite shows in like the last five years. Cause yeah, it's that shit's really good. everything I wanted in a superhero drama. Where it's like you got Marvel, Marvel's more PG. You got DC who's like PG thirteen. <laughs> Teeters on like the rated R. This shit is N C seventeen XXX. <laughs> whatever the fuck you wanna call it, man. It's like just the dopest shit I could think of. It was like, yo, I cause I the Marvel is too like polished and clean. It's like, oh, these niggas don't do shit but fight crimes and go home and live happy <laughs> lives ever after. Like, no, these niggas go home and argue. They kill niggas on accident. Like, real shit happens in the world. It's like everybody, like all the superheroes are assholes, and mm-hmm. I expect them to be with that much power. Where it's like, yo. And then I was reading something, um, and basically all the superheroes that are in this shit are like copies of like other superheroes. So yeah. like the, yeah. the so like the Superman guy is is, is this dude named Homelander. Homelander, and Homelander like they <laughs> Homelander. they they cut this scene from from uh like episode two or something like that where it was like he he basically do does everything that Superman does. He can laser beam. He's super strong. He can fly. All that other bullshit. Mm. And then there was a scene that they cut where he was standing outside of I, I guess they're like justice league tower or like they're, they're like stark tower or whatever yeah he was standing on like a like a gargoyle and he was like jacking off <laughs> the fuck? And he was like i can do whatever i want and then he splag it on all of new york city <laughs> <Splag it. laughs> dog shit like that happens in this shit where it's like yo people have sex and kill people yeah people kill people in the most vile ways they use babies to laser beam niggas that eyes shit off. was amazing <laughs> i was rolling <laughs> Like this whole this whole series is like what this is this is what would really happen if superheroes were real and there's more then there's not really super villains that they're just niggas doing crime it's like regular niggas they don't really develop like a like a Joker type or like a you know like a bad motherfucker like well that. not it's, yet I mean that's what the storyline yeah is, sort of is leading up to led to towards like the end of it yeah. so basically there's like this drug called Compound V and it it juices up the superheroes but it's also what gives so they've been they feed it to kids. And some of them develop superpowers. Mm. So basically, <clears throat> it's basically like a like a like Super a cork. Story. Yeah, <laughs> kind of. It was like, yo, if if you give it to the child and he react to it, oh, that nigga got powers. Yeah, if you don't, it's just like, ah, right, you just got some blue shit in you. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, activate the <laughs> activate the, uh, the powers and shit. Yeah, um, this shit is dope. Fucking this chick was fucking getting her pussy ate and fucking squashed this nigga head. <laughs> I was dying. Yeah, yeah. Nigga. I, I knew that was gonna happen. Yeah, me too. I knew it was, but she was like. Crunch! I was like, "Oh shit!" And they showed that shit. Just thinking, "Fuck! Oh shit!" Collapsed on its own. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, "Dude!" Like it centers around, I guess, like these uh renegade uh CIA not, agents. I guess they were ex CIA. Yeah, I like ex CIA agents or whatever. And they like, I guess they uh specialize in like dealing with superheroes or like the supernatural or whatever. So one dude, I, I guess they all like left the CIA and now they're going around trying to figure out how to kill like the superheroes and shit like that. So mm-hmm. so they kill one of them. Um, 
like, like they um because he has skin made of like diamonds and shit, right? Yeah. Like he has really hard skin. So they were watching something on TV. They was like, "How the fuck do we kill this nigga?" They was like, "Oh, everything's not diamond on him." So they knocked his ass out and put an explosive in his asshole, <laughs> <laughs> and then they blew him up. Boof the dynamite. In his yeah, asshole. Boof the dynamite. Yeah. Um, like I was talking about put ketchup uh, on it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's what tax had to do. I don't know, nigga. <laughs> I'm just telling you what tax said. <laughs> I never did it before. <laughs> I never been in jail, nigga. So I ain't never and then, been in jail. Um, you know, and and I guess they they gotta adjust. He, said, they he gotta, said, "Yeah, he said it." I heard the nigga say it from his. They mouth. got a they got a Justice League called the Seven, right? So they got uh they got a fake Batman. No, they got a fake Superman, a fake Wonder Woman, a fake Aquaman. They got uh, I don't know what Black Noir is. What, what I guess he'd be of. Batman, kinda, kinda. But he don't really talk. He don't really he don't do, do shit. He just be chilling. He just be chilling, not <laughs> saying shit. They got a fake Flash. Um and. Then they got the new chick. Yeah, new chick named, named uh, Starlight. Starlight. And, and like, I guess nigga. one of them retires, and like I guess they gotta fill like this slot, and uh, I guess she got the the job. And uh, one of her first duties was sucking off uh, the fake Aquaman. That was not her duty. It wasn't her duty, but he was going to get her kicked out of the seven if she he didn't He Weinstein the shit out of her. He's like, look, the shit out if, of you her. Want, if you want to stay on this team, you got to suck you this gonna, dick. You, gonna, you got you, to you gotta suck this fish dick. <laughs> <laughs> you got to hit the Kanye on it. I love yeah. fish sticks. <laughs> I love I fish sticks. sticks in my mouth. <laughs> in my mouth all the time. I love fish sticks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so so uh, unfortunately, she she did it. She uh, did it. That's the kind of show this is. Like, yeah, this is wild it's, shit. It, it gets it gets not as dark as the comic, but it gets dark yeah, it pretty gets really pretty pretty up. quickly. Where it's like, it was a, a episode where um like but this this whole thing is is based around money. Like being a superhero is like an occupation. It's not like you're like freelancing and saving who you want and you hear this and go there. It was like no, these niggas have signed up to be in like a, a fucking record contract. It was like yeah. yo, you do this, you appear here, you say this, you save these people. If you save these people, it gives us a bump on social media. You see spikes in this analytic and whatever the fuck. And they uh was supposed to stop this hijacking on a plane. Oh, yeah, that shit was crazy. And they get on the plane. And Homelander and the fake Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman, I think her name was Queen Maeve or some shit. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah. So they get on a plane, they kill the uh, the terrorists or whatever, and they go find another terrorist in the cockpit, and they fuck around and kill him, and then they fuck around and like slice the uh, the board or like how you fly the plane and shit, and they just more so lead them niggas on the plane and say, "Yep, we can't do shit." Yeah, <laughs> like fuck them because like the terrorists killed both the pilots. Mm-hmm. And then when he, when he went to go kill the terrorist, he like laser beamed the nigga, but then he also hit the console. Mm. So the maid was like, yo, just hop out front of that shit and then stop it. He's like, I could do that, but it, it might not work. The plane will flip over or whatever. Or I'm going to crash or at yeah, going to speed. Like, I'm going like, to end up flying right through it. Push the plane up. It was like, yo, it what, don't, what don't am I going like to use to sustain myself? I, yeah. I can't, I, it's air, air out there. Yeah. I can't push myself on them. It's like, it's nothing like, you know, the DC yeah. Superman was like, oh, a plane's falling. <laughs> I'm gonna push it up. It was like, no, nigga, there's real like physics involved. Like, I can't do that shit. Plane going to crack a I'm going to get fucked up. You going to get fucked so, up. So he's like, deuces. He just left all so the niggas. Left a plane, 123 people on a plane, just left them niggas left and, them and, and then gave a speech. It was like, so sad that we lost all those people. Because yeah, they were trying to get um, defense contracts to like work with the, the government and yeah, shit. They, so they like, don't let superheroes in, into the military and, yeah. and they're trying to get that contract as to where they're trying to get into the military so they can fight overseas yeah. and fight all these wars. It was, like, it was much easier when you got a nigga that's superpower. Superman. Yeah. <laughs> So, like, their initial plan was to actually stop the terrorists and land the plane on that shit. But because they did that, he's like, nah, yeah, y'all going to die. Bye. And left the <laughs> niggas and then fake speech like, oh, if only we were working with the government, we would have we got the call so late. We couldn't get there. And look, all these people died. So, basically, he flipped it to try to yeah. make it so they could get the contract and shit. And basically, the, the main characters, what they try to do is they try to, I guess, expose the shit of these superheroes because they know they're full of shit and, yeah. they, and they bad people. So, that's why they kill one. They uh trying to frame well not frame one they trying to uh get one indicted on on this crime and shit because when uh he killed this nigga girlfriend in in, in the first episode he was hyped up on that on that Jew shit yeah he was on that Roy <laughs> and um you know they they blackmailing people because it's it's this gay superhero club and shit that niggas go to and do that wild shit <laughs> woo woo <Yeah. laughs> woo woo <Eddie. laughs> no they wasn't all gay he just happened to be gay. 
the club. It was just yeah, a sex club. Right. It's, it's, it was just yeah, superhero it's, sex it's club. Sex. Right. They can be right. deprived right. in their own private yeah, life. Yeah, you could do your own little nasty little shit. Yeah, but the thing with the with the with the gay dude is like he's a super religious. Like, yeah, he's a he's a he's a, he's a, he's a priest. Yeah, or whatever. yeah. And, so, you know, and like he's like you got to pray the gay away. Exactly. Type of thing type where of nigga, it's like yeah. oh, gay is a sin. You got to live by the Bible <laughs> Belt and premarital sex and yada yada. Like yo, but you know in the club he fucking taking them all. It was like yo, you was getting yapped off by somebody. Then you stretched like he he's a he's a um Mr. Fan. Mr. Fantastic, Fantastic ass nigga. So it's like he's oh, straight, so he he's getting be. yapped off, and then he stretches under a table to two other niggas, start kissing them. It was like, yo, wow, these niggas is ill. <laughs> like, <laughs> these niggas, like, yo, this is some shit that would really happen if niggas had superpowers. Yeah. It was like, yo, I'm scared to come out the closet, but I'm gonna be a Bible thumper. <laughs> And the Ant Man dived in some chick's he, puzzle. Like, yo, he like got a running start and and <laughs> dove in his chick choach. <laughs> I was like, yo, and then I was thinking, like, yo, if I could do that, would, would I, I do that? It? Probably mm, not. Nah, I don't want to mm. see that. I don't, I don't think I but, but it's like, like it's like what does like that do I'm for saying. you <laughs> what does that do for you it don't do nothing for me it but it's like yo matter of fact I don't know what I would do <laughs> honestly you know you're right you, 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 you probably do that you probably do it for the experience <laughs> yes right? you, like, you yo, do it one time when just I was, was <laughs> just, I used to be the man back in the day. Yeah, I, I I could shrink this small, right? Yeah. Throw right in this bitch pussy. Mm-hmm. Yo, swan diving that coach. Yeah. <laughs> but. Mm, box the bus. <laughs> box the box. That's what I was. Box the box. Box the box. Box the box. But nah, this is one of my favorite shows that I've seen in a while. Yeah, like, it's just, really good. This show is really, really, really good. It's super good. violent. So, it's super violent. It doesn't hold any punches. Like, if it got as dark as the comics, I don't know if they could actually show it. Yeah, I don't think they could do it. Because it's a, it's a, um. Somebody sent me a, a, a strip where it was like Homelander and A Train was trying to get Starlight to suck they dick <laughs> because she did it to the D. So it was uh, like, yo, and like Homelander standing there in the superhero stands like, I am waiting for you to suck my dick. And then A Train comes out of nowhere. <laughs> Can't nobody stop the A Train, baby. <laughs> I was like, man, you don't get these crazy niggas out of here, man. But yo, it's it's it's, it's real life superhero shit. It was like, yo, if if there were superheroes and there, and there was an underworld in 2019, what the fuck would they be doing? They'd be doing government cover ups. They'd be nasty, vile, disgusting, evil niggas. Like, it's just dope, man. I'm I'm, I'm surprised you didn't watch it. Yeah, I know. No, really, I you'd really to. like it. Yeah. Shout out to Deep for for trying to help all the aquatic life he can, but it always ends horribly. Yeah. <laughs> he tried to he tried to save a dolphin. This nigga was getting chased by the cops. Fucking hit the brakes. The dolphin was in the back of the truck. This shit flew straight through the fucking yes. windshield. <laughs> Slow motion. Looked at that nigga. Fucking front flip rolled. Truck came. Ran it over. Nah, but he's about to do some nasty shit to that dolphin though. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dolphin was well, talking to that nigga Dolphin, nasty. Like Dolphin well, was talking the to him. Hole? He was like, home, like, nah, I, I don't, I don't know what they was talking about. Because he can't like, hear Dolphin's part. Yeah, the way was, he was answering was like, yeah, he was like, yo, we're talking about that like, right now. If I touch it, will you shut up? Yeah, like, eh. and then the Dolphin <laughs> like, got, put it in his hole. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, don't I don't know, know. Like, what the fuck they was talking about. But then was like the cops was. Yeah. Both of you niggas. That's what's going on. <laughs> but the, the cops came and then like I guess the That was the flipper noise. <laughs> so one out of ten. I, I get a show. I quit. I, I get a show at nine point five. Yeah, me too. I love this show. Yeah, uh I'm probably gonna rewatch it. I don't know if it got renewed for a second season, but if it I think it did, but don't it, quote. If it did, I am on it, nigga. I nice. love this fucking show. Oh, I can't wait to see what happens. And it kind of intrigued me to the point where I wanna uh read the comments, but I don't know. I don't know where to get them because I haven't seen them when I look for them. I don't know if this is like an old, old comic that I got to like, order it's online. Not, I don't know. I it's not on Comixology? I haven't looked. I like, <laughs> I, I like to actually get, Buy the, physical, get, yeah. get, get the book. This nigga did not have to do that. <laughs> and, and his name is The Deep. <laughs> the Deep. The Deep. Never mind. <laughs> Y'all turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> why, 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 why? I love fish sticks. <laughs> There's fish sticks in my mouth. Why we like this? Why y'all like this? <laughs> I try to bring some type of fucking balance in. Nigga, you spent like fucking a whole half an hour laughing at T Rex and the other day, right? right? It ain't got nothing to do with fucking dolphins. <laughs> fucking dolphins or fucking dolphins? Yeah. Both. <laughs> All right, so you, what do you? What do you? I give it a nine. Okay. That shit sound like it was a pain. I was Never mind. <laughs> Where? He gave it a nine, though. He gave it a What? Nothing. He gave it a rock. Nothing. <sighs> I heard you. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid motherfucker. 
Yo, Bobby, do me a favor. Yo, yo pass me that. Uh, <laughs> oh, me too, please. Pass me the yak. No, Why you're not? going. You're going somewhere to get drunker. I'm not. I'm not even drunk. I had like. You're a going bit. somewhere to get drunkerer. <clears throat> yo, leave me alone. I think it's a brown liquor. Every time we have brown liquor, this shit goes no. Left. It's hash. <laughs> Hesh don't need liquor. Hesh had water last episode. He was still fucking stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, but, I'm, I'm uh, just coming next week and I'll say shit. Watch. And please don't. So, on the topics, right? So, I don't know if anyone's seen Once Upon, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. That's on my list. That's but on my list. Uh, Shannon Lee isn't happy with Quentin Tarantino's portrayal of Bruce <coughs> Lee. Shannon Lee is Bruce Lee's daughter, and she don't like how this white motherfucker portrayed her <laughs> father as his egotistical, I guess, uh, what's the other word I'm looking for? Egotistical, I guess, like pompous uh, person. Uh, a quote says, it was very uncomfortable to sit in the theater and listen to people laugh at my father. Now, I don't think Quentin Tarantino intentionally did that. Yeah. I don't think that Quentin Tarantino uh, disrespects legends like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, me um, I think it was just something for comedy to confess. I mean, and then you know, Quentin Tarantino didn't know Bruce Lee, and all the stories I've heard about Bruce Lee, he's never been described as arrogant, egotistical, anything like that. So, I guess it was just like a portrayal in a movie, I guess, to keep the plot line going. Because I mm-hmm. guess Brad Pitt beats up Bruce Lee in a movie. Yeah. So it's like something to go along with the plot point where it's like, oh, you come in here with all this martial arts shit, but you let this white man from Spokane, Washington beat your ass Spokane. and shit. <laughs> but, you know, I don't think Quentin Tarantino meant anything bad by it, but I'm not Shannon Lee. You yeah. know, I, mm-hmm. I can't, I don't really have an opinion on this shit. You know, I can't really, you know, give my thoughts on how you should feel. Yeah, about, exactly. It's your, it's not like, yeah, like it's, if it was your dad yeah, it was my it dad, in, it was in like, a movie yeah, and then you saw people who died in a fucked up way. Yeah, you can't you tell someone how to feel. feel about some shit like that. I can't, I can't really knock her for feeling a way, but I don't think it was an intentional yeah, thing. Yeah, I don't think it was an intentional mm-hmm. thing, but do you think, do they, but before they actually put someone like that in the movies, don't they have to go over, over that with the family before uh, they actually do think, shit like that, I think it depends on the capacity of the film. Like if it was a doc, if it was like a doc, uh, biopic, maybe. But if it's just a movie where yeah, a character but you shows know up, it's brute. Like, like uh, all yeah. that bullshit that you like, all that litigation shit was like, no, his name is like Brian Long or some shit. Like, you know, like nigga, this is Bruce Lee. Anyway, it's yeah, not Bruce fucking Lee. playing, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I think that stuff. That stuff. I, I really do think maybe if it's something where you're like detailing that person's life then maybe they would probably want to go through the family but if it's just a character that shows up in like a scene yeah, it's you're like, not it's, gonna really bother it's a talk. fucking time piece so it's yeah, like yeah, alright yeah. so you wanna throw somebody in there you throw yeah. Bruce Lee in there it's for the scene it's for the movie I get it you know how they portrayed him still fucked up but yeah. I thought it was cool but obviously the Shannon wasn't cool I don't want y'all portraying my father like that His his that, it's not gonna taint his legacy it, like, it's nah, not like yeah, it's, really act, not. it's not an <laughs> accurate portrayal of Bruce Lee but it's like I don't want to tell her lighten up, but it's like, come on, it's not. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and, I mean, but again, and I haven't seen it, yeah, so I don't even I mean, know how bad. To be fair, there's been way more portrayals of Bruce Lee than this. Yo, every video game <laughs> has a Street Bruce Fighter. Lee. Lee. Every every <laughs> every video game has a Bruce Lee character. Yeah. And, like they reference Bruce Lee in Mad cartoons. Fucking fucking uh, Ninja Turtles <laughs> had a had a Bruce Lee look alike. His name was Han or some shit. Yeah, like, he like, goes to wow. That, yeah, that's Bruce like, Lee. Got that, it. Woo, and all that Bruce shit. Lee. That's all Bruce Lee. Like, yo, you know where the mannerisms and all that yeah. fish shit come from? All that fast kicking and punching shit and yeah. that the fucking haircut, the, right? Like the face structure. The you know where all that come shit on, come from? But do you, hustle, do you have to okay that with the family? I think you should. You know, it'd be nice, but I mean, I don't know if you actually have to like leave. They can it. actually sue. I I would hope so. <clears> I don't like, know. Yo, y'all keep portraying my father in this. Oh, y'all keep using my father's likeness. I don't. I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't, I don't know the legal behind kind, that. What, side. I don't what know what kind of deal they have with people. Yeah. But you know, if you don't want niggas to use your father's likeness anymore, then I guess you should do something about it. I don't yeah. know. But I love Bruce Lee. Yeah, but like, yeah. so again, like, if it's I don't know, was it actually One Bruce of my Lee? Idols and shit? Was he? Was it like he? Was that dude actually being Bruce Lee, or was he just like his name I, was Bruce I Lee? I think it was, it was just, Bruce. Yeah. Lee. So maybe, so maybe there's some precedent there if it's actually that character. But if it's uh, a uh, lookalike. Yeah, maybe. then maybe they can get away with it. But I don't know. I haven't uh, seen it, so I don't uh, yeah, know how yeah. how bad it is or how. Heard it's a good movie. Yeah, yeah. Heard, heard it. Heard it takes a little long to pick up, but you know, heard it's a good movie. Yeah, that happens with Tarantino movies sometimes. Yeah. I, lo- I he's love. I heavy. love Tarantino movies. But yeah, he's yeah, dialogue yeah. heavy. So yeah, sometimes, so you know, you gotta. I, I, I just want to know how many times he said nigger in that shit. 
Who Tarantino? Yeah, all the time. Tarantino <laughs> has a nigger in, in every movie. Oh yeah, because he he, he <laughs> no mind. I'm not good. We're not gonna do it. He <laughs> secretly hates. Well, not hates. I don't know. Hate. You know. <clears throat> he just no. He just uses his. He just wants to say it, and he uses. Yeah, it's like he gives this. Like, he uses the writing pro because he cre- writes that his films. creative. Thing. What's it? What's it? Creative licensing to like yeah, just to like, say you know, nigga. It's a timepiece. It. You know, it's the '60s or the '50s or whatever. You know, they said that back. In, no, nigga, mm-hmm. stop. Yeah. All right. But uh, let's see. Jim Carrey has responded to the Sonic backlash. Quote, ownership of anything is going out the window for all of us. He's very cryptic. Um, Basically, what he means is what you were saying. Like, these motherfuckers are pussy for changing shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's basically what he meant. <laughs> yeah. Um, I yeah. I was, I'm kind of on offense. I understand what he's saying. But at the same time, like, if you fucking up, if you're fucking up somebody's childhood, like with some off the wall shit, cause this shit, this shit did look like trash. It did. This shit was on the road of being like the worst video game adaptation. Still, ever. probably gonna be. No, it's but, just gonna not look as bad. But ever since, I guess the boom of, I want to say like social the, media. No, not no. not social media, but like the superhero craze and shit. Like oh, everyone's yeah. looking for that next like oh, thing, that universe. That, like, yeah, <laughs> like like that next hit, like some shit y'all y'all didn't see coming. And we just gonna put it out there. And if it if it hit, then we're fucking billionaires. If it don't, we just wasted a hundred, two hundred million something dollars yeah. on some bullshit. Like everybody's looking for like that 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 thing, that fucking needle in the haystack shit. But then when when the public sees it and you get that backlash, it's like. All right, we took a chance on the wrong thing. Y'all, y'all, like, they never take a chance on the wrong thing. They just picking that shit. They just pointing that shit and say, yo, let's do this. Let's acquire this. Let's do this with that and see what the fuck happens. But it's never good that anything good that comes from it. Yeah. yeah. I don't. And it ain't like people are coming after Jim Carrey for that shit. Jim Carrey does what Jim Carrey does. If you get Jim Carrey, that's what you're going to get. Nigga, you hired me to do one thing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am Dr. Robotnik. Yeah, I, I, ain't had, I ain't seen nobody complaining about Jim Carrey. Yo, because yo, cause you can't <laughs> go wrong with Jim Carrey. I know if Jim Carrey's in something, he's in there for a reason. I've never seen Jim Carrey like absolutely fail at a role. Yeah. Where it's like, uh, he just didn't embody shit that has to do with his role. Like, yeah. Has Jim Carrey ever done a serious role? Yeah, yeah. all the time. 13. Was it 13? What's the 13? The Andy it's Kaufman like the shit he where, did. Fucking, yeah, Andy Kaufman. Um, it was Andy Kaufman, well, he, he was a comedian, though. But yeah, the but it movie was, serious. was serious. Oh, I didn't see it. Yeah, because he got cancer. And then, yeah, um... What's the, the, what's the, the what's movie the, 13? It, I, think it was, I think it was called 13. Oh, yeah, the like, numbers, kept and shit. Wa- numbers and shit. Yeah. It was more like a thriller. That one. Mm. And then fucking Eternal... Sun, uh, what the fuck? What the... Eternal... Fuck! I don't. I remember. <laughs> it's an eternal sunshine of a spotless mind. I think that's what it is. Damn, oh, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why my brain. Yeah, that and then fucking like the Truman Show. Book. Yeah, Truman Show was pretty serious. It was goofy. Truman I mean, Show was like, not serious yeah. at all. But it, it was at right, the maybe end. Not. It was at the end. It was at the end. He was getting hit with them no, tidal waves. He was yeah, like, ah. At a point, at an, it, there was some serious. No, it was. It was a comedic movie with serious points. Every every comedic movie has serious points. Where it's like, all right, we gotta. I was crying in that movie. I, I won't take Truman. Tru- you take Truman Show out of you there. You almost cried at Truman. Hell yeah! When he Why? got out, he's like Truman. He's like, case I don't see you. Good afternoon. Good evening. Tonight. And he, bowed, <laughs> and he just got out, and his bitch was like, yeah. <laughs> like, oh my god, he's seeing the real world now. I almost cried. <laughs> it's the music. It's the music. But yeah, no, he has some serious. Yeah, they put the fucking Hulk music in it. Yeah, yeah they. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm still not on board with this movie. Whatever yeah, happens, yeah, happens. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm watching. But... I'm leaning more and more towards watching it just for the train wreck. But I don't want to fuck up my childhood like that. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, but gotta go fast. <laughs> gotta go fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So speaking of video games, let's see. PlayStation Four reaches a hundred million units sold. God <laughs> damn. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That is a lot of fucking units. Sony. It is. Sony revealed the console is the fastest to reach this milestone, and digital PS4 sales have overtaken physical. Ooh, well, that makes sense. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, it does. Because everybody they're, moving to digital. Their marketing thing is crazy. You ever been in the PlayStation store? Like no. they have everything sale, and then they have this yeah. uh-huh. sale, and they have. <coughs> I'm telling you, yo, y'all niggas gonna get enough of this digital shit, yo. I'm <laughs> you telling real. you, man. Like I don't, yo, I don't, I never want to go completely digital oh. with any fucking thing. I want to yeah, physically own something because, yo, sucks to be you because it's gonna happen. Nigga. Yeah, it, it is. They, it's unfortunately, they're gonna keep some things around. I don't think. I don't think they're going completely like 100. percent It might be like 90 percent digital, but I don't cut. Yo, if something goes down, because half of these, more than half of these games now, you got to play while you're online. You have. Yep. To have yeah. some type of internet connection whether it be a uh, fucking ethernet or like a, a wireless cable right uh-huh. you have to be online 
if you do not have the disc, you're shit out of luck if this shit is digital. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then if something ha- happens to happen to that network, be it if you're talking about music, if you're talking about video games, if you're talking about software or something, if you do not own the physical of this shit and, this, and it goes down... You don't own this shit, so yeah, it's don't. lost. It's Facts. gone. If something happens with, cause then, wasn't it like four or five years ago, where somebody hacked like the PlayStation service or some shit, and yeah. they was doing mad shit, and shit was like down on Christmas, and they was down for mad long. All this other shit it was like, yo, if something like, happens to get into that fucking like server and wipe shit. Like, yo, if they start losing like usernames and shit like that, games, all that shit is gone. You don't own any of that shit, and they're not gonna refund you. That's, nothing. that's one thing I don't like about PlayStation, cause they always get hacked on some shit. They're and it's not, always shut down for like a month. <laughs> and, they, and they got their money so they don't give a fuck about how you you can yeah, call complain email whatever the fuck they don't care the inevitable future we you don't s- own this shit bootleg is <laughs> coming back Bo- yeah, they going to bootleg in these digital yeah, games <laughs> yeah but sometimes you know you know they encrypt all the fucking uh, what's the name do you yeah. have to buy additional hardware to put on this shit to block the shit and do yeah. this shit oh yeah it's gonna be something like that <laughs> but coming back. it don't make sense just keep some sh- ship a certain amount if it sell out, cool. Yeah, you're right. It's on digital online. That's where if that's where seventy five percent of your sales are, cool. Ship a certain amount. Digital is like theirs. You're never gonna go out of stock. What yeah, f- I, I just think that the pre sales be low. I mean, when we don't know what the game is, we're not sure yeah, of, like, of, of the previous titles. Like, why the fuck am I gonna pre order? Yeah, because with, with with digital is like if you're gonna pre order something, you have to like. Pay, pay the right price then. of the game. Like if you go to GameStop, you just $5. put five dollars down. You good? Yeah, you, and you can you decide did. whether or not you like. Nah, I don't want this shit. I heard it. like fucking Fallout. I did that <laughs> shit with me. If I don't ball Fallout, I'd have been fucking <laughs> mad. Yo, they giving that shit away. I, Yo, bought, I bought this mic. I bought this Yeti mic. They gave it away. They that shit away for like five dollars. <laughs> like please take, please take this. <laughs> please take this game. <laughs> they take just this gave shit. it away. It was funny because they had a Yeti mic by itself. That shit was like one hundred and twenty dollars. But then they had a Yeti mic with Fallout seventy six in it. That shit was a hundred dollars. I was like, damn, they just giving this shit away. Yeah, like that shit was trended down. <laughs> when I got it from Redbox, I was like, yo, I'm glad I didn't buy this shit. I went back to GameStop. Give me my five back, nigga. I don't want this garbage. <laughs> I got five. I'm, shit, I'm not playing this shit. And then I played it. I was like, yo, this shit boring because I don't know nobody else that's playing it. Yeah. There's nobody else playing it. I was like, I just wasn't. I mean, what the fuck am I going to do? But, um, shout out to PlayStation. Put when cocaine that, on it. When that play, what? Put cocaine. What are you talking about? <laughs> you said, what else are you going to do with it? Oh, with the tray? Use it yeah, in. just yeah. use it. Line it up. <laughs> line it up. <laughs> Yeah, where my cookies at? Nigga? You suck, you sick nigga. <laughs> I had every intention of bringing them shits to and forgot them shits. But uh, yeah. that PlayStation Five gonna be something, man. E- yep. I might, I might have to get that shit like first day. E- yep. It it all depends on what titles are dropping with it though. Like like if it's some garbage, I'm, I don't think it's probably it's first ju- day. Ju- what is dropping the first day. They have, I don't know. We gonna stay yet? We'll we'll find out. You'll find E3 out three next year probably yeah, or yeah, around probably. that time. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait, or maybe a little sooner. It's coming because it's supposed to come out fall. So it's oh, like, next, yeah, next, next fall, yeah, like yeah. October. Oh, um, so. when did the Last of Us Two come out? The Last of Us this two? year, or next year, this year. No, it came out already, didn't it? No, it's no, not. No, out no, yet. no, it's not. Last of Us Two. I don't know. No. I don't think they have a release date yet. I think it's supposed no. to come out this year, but don't quote me. I think. Mm. Nah. Did they show that E three last year? They showed yeah, like a little. Did. They showed at least a ten minutes trailer. of gameplay. No, no they showed, of, oh, they did show. They showed like ten minutes of gameplay last year. That's right. When she we dropped. was in here watching it. When she shanked yeah. that nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Shoot niggas with bone yeah, arrows and everything. Yeah, yeah. It was wild shit. But oh, yeah, if cool. that's a PlayStation Five day, it like, might be like day of. Yeah, that's just be. on the fence. So I don't know if it's gonna. It might be. They might do like. I they, might be with it. <laughs> it might be. It might be both. It might be like four and five type of thing. They did. They wouldn't want. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Sean Paul. So, Super Mario Maker 2 has sold 2.42 million in three days. Yeah, I got, God yeah, damn. I got this. Now, I tried to tell these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we should play this show on some No, Most Friday, on some no Smoke Friday shit. I'm like, yeah, I don't play Mario. I don't play Mario. I don't fuck with Mario. Who gives a fuck? It's, it's one of the top selling games on Switch. Everybody loves fucking Mar- Mario and Mario Maker specifically. <laughs> Okay. You don't fuck with Mario? I mean, I like Mario. I play it. If How you don't you it. fuck with Mario? Like, I like Mario, but I was like, it's not like, oh, I gotta play Mario. Nah, Mario ain't <laughs> fucking Kingdom Hearts or nothing. Yeah, I'm just saying, like, it's Mario. Yeah, though. Like, nah, I played Mario before in my youth, then. How you don't youth fuck them? with Mario? Like, yo, yo, have you played Super Mario Maker 1? No. I ain't making shit. I ain't creating. <laughs> you don't. Ha- that's not the basis of the game. Oh, it's not. I thought you had to make shit. No, you you, play, you have the like option levels. to make. Okay, so you have the option to play levels that people have created. Uh-huh. There's a story mode. Oh. You can make your own levels. Oh. You can have like. Oh, I didn't know if you shit. niggas have Super Mario Maker two. Send us your levels that you make. Oh, yeah. We will play them for No Smoke Friday. <laughs> Fuck Hesh. <laughs> we will play them. All right. 
They're what not the that. What the fuck I do? <laughs> just, I don't play Mario. I mean, I, I mean, I play Mario, but I don't play Mario. Yeah. <laughs> so, send us your levels. Email, DM, hashtag Super Mario Maker two three MP or <laughs> SMM two three MP. I don't know. Something. Just send us some shit. <laughs> so, um, Super Mario Maker two. Mm-hmm. I have it. Dope game. Story mode is really easy. It's it's. You know how you play like the the regular Mario, and they got like the obvious shit, the traps you gotta jump over. Yeah. Or, it, it, but it, they they make it so it's like you gotta think. <laughs> like it's like a a real thinking man's game. Where yeah. It was like they got the upside down worlds. They got and oh. it, it, like they it, they included shit from all the way from Mario One to I think what's the Super Mario World World Wii Wii U. I think that's Wii, the last Wii. one that came out. That's the one that they. Like it's shit from every yeah, fucking Mario. Mario. Okay. So it's like it's just dope how you can incorporate all that shit and just have it in one little tiny fucking cartridge. Mm. That's what's up. But I want to play it. Send us your levels and uh we will play them. Yes, I will play them. Um let's see. Modern Warfare Modern Warfare multiplayer will support crossplay. That's big. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> oh shit. That's big. Is that only on consoles or is it PC too? Yeah. <laughs> it's all of it? I don't know. Oh. Uh, no, nah, just because I know it's crossplay in general is like a big deal. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's the future we're moving to, that, and they should just do it, and it, and it makes sense. And but what was the reason that they didn't do it before? Because competitive. Yeah. They, okay, so what's the reason they're doing it now? Because <laughs> niggas um, been compa- complaining and they want it. I mean, we was complaining before. Now is it more motherfuckers complaining? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe, maybe there's a w- maybe there's gonna be some way to make money off of it, which is, is my thought. They'll charge you. For the mm. option or some shit like that, I don't know. Which is probably what they'll do. Like, oh, if you give us two dollars and now you can play crossplay or five dollars, probably more <laughs> likely. I mean, they for, probably would do that, and then people would do it. So I mean, for me, friends. that's never been like a common sense thing. Like, why would Xbox players be able to play with PlayStation players? Like, I, I get Xbox to PC or PlayStation to PC, but I never got the Xbox to PlayStation shit. Like, why would like why that's the whole point of buying a specific <laughs> console, being able to play with. Certain players are playing. Um, yeah, but if games. you got friends who have PlayStations and get don't a have fucking a- Xbox, then high five. I think PC would be like <laughs> PC. I get you can keep it separate because you know the mouse. Yeah, like, get way easier. That shit is way, way, way like way more accurate. Easy. Yeah, that shit's way too easy. But well, it's are we doing accurate. all include? We we can't exclude PC. Well, you can, but you gotta have a fucking exclude them. Themselves. Maybe do some shit like Fortnite. You're right. <laughs> 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 I mean, you you can, but it's like just do some shit like Fortnite does. You have to like have a controller to yeah. play and shit. Yeah, because yeah. that that mouse shit. Yeah, that mouse shit make it too easy. Yeah, bang, 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 bang. Yeah, John Wick every fucking thing. <laughs> <laughs> I want it though. I'm you, getting it. I mean, it's cool. You I don't get, I don't play Call of Duty no more, so it's not like the biggest deal to me. But I, for the young inside. But this understand. one, yeah, Modern this Warfare. Is, this one is stretching shit. Is it? This shit's to the point where it's, it's, it they think about banning it in certain countries. My word, warfare? they do. Yeah, they like, doing no Russian. Like China talking, and Russia. Remember we was talking about like um, you know, they, they got you shooting kids. No, they got you shooting kids and women in this shit. I don't think we talked. Uh, yeah, we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> I vaguely remember I something about that. Yeah, it was a, like really brief, but they they got you like uh, you don't know who's the enemy. Oh yeah, so it'll be we like did a female. Talk about this, yeah, like ah, it could, it could, it could be a kamikaze guns. kid. Where yeah, like, yeah. Ah, they had that. Boom. Boom. Praise to Allah, a hundred virgins, boom. <laughs> like, okay. I'm fucking shooting this kid. <laughs> okay, but when I talk about dolphins as bad or little people and shit, but you can fucking say some anti-Islamic shit. I am not killing myself over a hundred virgins. I'm sorry. I mean, <sighs> give me one good freak. <laughs> I'll make it work. <laughs> Yo, I've been saying that since I was like 11 shit. and I didn't even have sex. Like, why, <laughs> like, why would you, like, why why? Would you want a hundred virgins? Yeah. You gotta take it easy with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> one nasty bitch. Right? <laughs> one nasty just mother. One nasty, big old freak. Just let me do whatever freak. to you. Big, big old freak. Big old freak. Big old, big old, <laughs> Yo, you, got that, like, you got that song? Like, my, huh? Do I have it? <laughs> I, I can get it. No, but like, honestly, like, we, have you ever had sex with a virgin and how horrible that shit that was? That gotta be the song. <laughs> big old freak. Big old, big old, big old freak. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> uh. So, they, so they, so they gonna top no Russian there? Cause <laughs> nah, but have you ever had sex with a virgin? That shit is I, I, not I turned that it good. down. I turned it down. That shit is not good. The first time. Now it was this one chick. I was, um, I was twenty, and she was like, <laughs> "Big old freak, big old freak." <laughs> 
hit it, any big old ski. Feet on the bed. I fuck him up in the head. Suck it, then look in his eyes. Oh. Next day, I might leave him on red. You want a virgin? Fuck, I want a virgin boy. You a fucking stallion, nigga. Get you a stallion. You a fucking stallion, motherfucker. Get you an iron need, bitch. Right? Nigga, what? Bitch, need me insurance. Oh man. Yeah, but I turned on a virgin before. She gonna play with that thing in a car. <laughs> yeah. Hey bitch. This beat is mad creative. Hell yeah, bitch, want that pussy. Shout out to Meg Stallion, man. We fucking comic book podcast. You know, play Meg Stallion on any podcast. <sighs> but yeah, I want no versions. Man. Yeah, well, I want it. A lot. Of hot Turn it down. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I get it. I understand yeah. why. No, I think it's just a purity thing. For purity? Them. I think for them, I think I that's what it is. Because you gotta take your time with it. Like you, you can't. It's not like you can just, just go, go, in, go, go crazy. You can't. Yeah, I think like, just it's, it's a purity thing. Like, uh, yeah, if I get them, they're pure from sent from the heavens of God. They have not been defiled by the recesses of an evil Send man. Send them bitches back. Give me ones that that have been cursed by hellfire. Yeah. <laughs> Give me one of the hell bitches. I want yeah. the hellfire pussy. Yeah. I want the fuego. <laughs> yeah, blow your fire. Give, give me that shit. Give me that. Give me the hellfire. I want that. Give me the big old freak. <laughs> big, big, big old freak. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, fucking Meg just down. <laughs> so E three accidentally. Oh. Docs 2,000 journalists, streamers, and YouTube creators. Uh, that's dope. I don't know why that's dope, but <laughs> it's <a> dope. because <laughs> have your personal information yeah, out there, so right? they can just show up to your house and say, <laughs> What up? Address, all that. I mean, Call in, you. in certain situations, it's not, but for a lot of niggas that be talking shit and they hide behind <laughs> yeah. an- anonymity of shit, it's mm-hmm. like, Yo, I don't, I don't know what you look like, or you've been talking shit on this stream, or, or this journalist that says some bullshit about this. I want to confront you. I want to, I want to know where you <laughs> live so I can write you. I want your phone number. I want to say something to you. Tired of you niggas hiding behind this fucking veil of like, Secrecy. Stop saying shit behind keyboards and all this bullshit. I want to know who the fuck you are now. For the innocent ones, that's fucked up. Yeah. yeah. Now, I, don't, I don't need nobody coming to my shit like, hey, I know where the fuck you live. I'm going to do something to your mama and I'm going to send you this and I'm going to do this to you. I'm like, nah, that's kind of <laughs> fucked up. But for the ones that be talking, I'm with it if you be talking shit. Yeah. I mean, I don't think that was the case because I think most of it's just journalists and fucking people who fucking attend the panel. Like, it wasn't like the the attendees. It was and like then, the people who were part I'm, of the shows and shit. Journalists, streamers, and YouTube. Yeah, creators. like people who fucking fuel the games industry. There, there like, are some the, YouTube the creators who are assholes. Probably. Dickheads, there are yo. streamers who are assholes. Probably. <laughs> but that's like life with people. Any fucking, some people are assholes. Yeah, but don't be a public figure and talking shit, though. Yeah. Like, Look who our president is. They be talking nothing to me, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't vote for that nigga. <laughs> I didn't do this shit. <laughs> he didn't want to convince y'all motherfuckers. Bell the wall. Ain't no, ain't no <laughs> y'all here, nigga. I ain't vote for that nigga neither. Word. But, um. Orange motherfucker. <laughs> I ain't mean that. Uh, secret thing, service. I apologize. Yeah, fuck him. No, uh, let's see. Kevin Conroy to play Bruce Wayne in Arrowverse crossover. What the fuck took so long? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Because I think he's gonna play an older Bruce Wayne. They're saying because they're doing because they're doing a whole bunch of shit. They're having Brandon Rolfe reprise his Superman role. Oh yeah, he playing uh, King of the Come Superman. Yeah, I don't know what version of Superman. It's, it's, it's the King Superman. of Superman. Superman. And um, Black Lightning is gonna be part of the crossover for once finally. Oh snap! Yeah, so because it's uh, like Crisis on, it's doing a Crisis on Infinite Earth type of thing. So you know, different a whole bunch of shit's gonna happen, and and probably um, Arrow is gonna probably die in it. He's gonna die in it. Yeah, because this is this, this is his last season. This is last anyway. season, but he gotta die. It is short. It is short seasons. Yeah, bow all gracefully. You gotta, gotta die, nigga. <laughs> Mercurate that nigga. I mean, hey, Mercurate and Mercurate, nigga. All right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see, Deadpool two director David Leach Letch wants Leech. to direct Bleed. Mm-hmm. I want it. Yeah, makes sense. Yeah, does it? I don't know. He well, Deadpool Marvel, too. Marvel. Violence, violence. <laughs> yeah. I mean, comical Deadpool and serious ass Blade. Well, just because just because he made a comedy to me, he can't be serious. Yeah, I know. From, from a director's standpoint, like you've seen the fight scenes in it. Yeah, so, I can see that. Mm, 
No, let's just get right. Like the shit with the blades. <laughs> yeah, I mean, beginning? yeah, cutting up the uh, the Asian dudes. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, see shit like that. See, <laughs> he was actually a stunt performer in the original Wesley Snipes blade. Yeah, oh, yeah, see, yeah. so he already know he know about blood. No, <laughs> yo, every fucking say you say we gotta add a shit on this. Show. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta have you customly write it. I'm, <laughs> I'm tired of trying to figure him out. So. <laughs> If he want a shirt made, <laughs> what are you, you trying to figure me out? I'm trying to figure out like all the sayings. Uh, like, I gotta, I gotta remember all them shits or like go back, go back in episodes. Like, what the fuck did he say? I don't know. <laughs> I don't be saying that much stuff. I swear. <laughs> you don't look at me like that. <laughs> fuck you think you talking to? <laughs> I swear, I just be saying. I just be in here just chilling. Oh man, I wish, I wish you was in here chilling. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> all right. And All right, next week I'm coming out. I ain't gonna say shit. You a fucking lie. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let's see, the Runaways and Cloak and Dagger will team up in a season three crossover episode. That's gonna be a lot of fucking powers. Now is it just one episode? So far, probably. Yeah. Which makes sense because we talked about that shit last when we yeah, were doing yeah, yeah. the Cloak and Dagger review. How they was hitting the bus and he's hitting the road shit, hitting mm-hmm. the old town road, and you gotta go fucking get some horses in the back or something. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, but man. no, that makes sense. No, nah, I'm with it though. I want to see like the wow. Well, that's that's kind of something I never imagined because I don't because they're not on the same network, so I don't know how that. Yeah, work. I don't know how that's gonna work. So I don't know. Either. I don't know who gets the rights, and I don't know if it's uh, was it Freeform. Freeform or, is Freeform or Cloak and Dagger. Yeah, but I, I don't and know. Then, I don't know who gets what. I don't know if it's Freeform that Freeform gets it or Hulu is, that gets it. It's Freeform, Freeform owned by Hulu. I don't know. I mean, it's an AB. That's an ABC channel, and it's ABC Disney. I think ABC is owned by Disney. Yeah, Disney owned it must be. Yeah, yeah. I think ABC yeah. is owned by Disney. Disney owned the studio. <laughs> ABC, <laughs> ABC is owned by Disney. Oh, so that's... Yeah. Because that's where Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. first premiered when it was on TV. It was on ABC. And I think and I think Freeform used to be ABC... Right, it used to be ABC Family or some shit like that. Mm. What was it, Fox? <laughs> I don't know. It don't matter. <laughs> it's a crossover. I'm going to watch it. And it makes sense because in the original um, Runaways comic cloak and dagger do show up mm. in like i don't know third fourth issue some shit like that they sh- they show up and interact with the team a little bit and shit might have been six anyway they show up so it makes sense so there's like precedent for that in the actual comic books where they meet and team up a little bit so it's cool mm. and i like both those shows so okay interesting to see all right anything else no yeah I see. all right so picks oh uh, you got hash this week, I will recommend a book by Brandon Sanderson called The Way of the Kings. Um, it's like a high fantasy, not even a high fantasy. It's a fantasy book. <clears throat> I guess I guess high fantasy is like dragons and hoes. But it is a fantasy. I, I think, <laughs> I don't know. Dragons I don't, and hoes? <laughs> I, I said dragons and elves. <laughs> I you said but, dragons and hoes. Dragons and hoes. Dragons and hoes. I got to shirt. have me my dragons and hoes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, nah, it's a, it's a cool book. I like it. It's a... Uh, Interesting. Adam Warlock was never considered for Endgame. Racist. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, damn, what he said? R word. R word. Mike Coulter knew Luke Cage was coming to an end. Of course he did. Um, yeah. Let's see. New Need for Speed game coming soon. Need? Yeah. Need? Uh, have a need. Have Doctor need Who 2 stream exclusively on HBO Max. Who 2? Yeah. Um, they got a VR game too. They got a who? VR game for Doctor Who. Yeah, oh word. Yeah. We did shoot Chronicons in the face or something. <laughs> Use a cosmic screwdriver. Cosmic. That's what it's called, right? I think it's some shit like that, right? <laughs> I never watched Doctor Who, but I know people really like. Uh, it. I, I try to. He's yeah, mad British. Yeah, which is actually I don't have a problem with the British part. It's just weird because like every other day is a new nigga. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bobby, what's your pick? Um. Samuel Jackson's master class. Oh, you pay for that? No, you don't pay for his online class. Oh, it's free? Well, they well, have a little bit of something. The Oprah shit? YouTube. Hmm? No. The Oprah shit? Oh. No, it's no, an it's acting a, seminar thing. Yeah, he does. yeah. He, oh. he, just, he just gives his opinion on like what to do when you're in the... Just say motherfucker know. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> nah, you can't, you can't be Sam Jackson. it. <laughs> uh, the next Jurassic World could be the end for the franchise. It should uh, be. <laughs> <laughs> oh, niggas wasn't fucking with Jurassic World too? <laughs> nah, I with none of that. <laughs> nah, not when they, when they really sent the little nigga in the desert and they was just chilling. Like, nah, all right, we cool. Stallone <laughs> says another Rocky movie is likely. 
No. Wait, Rocky? Rocky? Uh, no. I think it's too old. No. Who's going to be his son? Then if it's yeah. something like that, then yeah. His son. Nah, nah, that's, that's weird. That's weird. His, his son's son is what's his face? Me too, Vinci Liliamia. Nigga, if it's his grandson, then he. I can't say anything. Me too, Vinci I don't know how you say it. Milo. with cheese? I don't know. That's his. Yeah, Villanova. Villa Valacelio. Hey. Nah, but it can't be his grandson because they're going to have to age him like crazy. Like, right? he, like he gotta be decrepit Yeah Like in that shit hey, You would've fight <laughs> Still got a junior I'll kill you over yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nah it can't It can't be that nigga Actually fighting It's nah. gotta be his grandson It's like the new crap Doesn't it he gotta, he gotta, I don't know. He gotta have an illegitimate kid that had an other kid that's older now. <laughs> <laughs> like that he didn't tell fucking Junior oh, about. Oh man. Like fucking Apollo? <laughs> yeah, for real. Just re yeah, just do that. Cause, yeah, or man. fucking recast. He grew t- 10 years in fucking five days. <laughs> Look at this 19 year old nigga swinging on niggas. I don't know. He got <laughs> I was watching Rocky 3 the other day, right? Mm-hmm. That's just like really good. Yeah, they all good. Like man. the whole failed thing. Dog, they're all good until Rocky uh, <laughs> until, until Rocky Five. That's when they all go down. Here. You know what's fucked up about it? <laughs> like in Rocky Three, like Adrian was like the support. She was like, "What's wrong with you? Like you gonna do it? I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> Run me, I'm afraid. I got you. I got the kid. I just don't want to. What are you putting me to, Adrian? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that, that fucking lip. <laughs> you put me to, Adrian. That's what I got. <laughs> I thought I married a fighter. I'm afraid. <laughs> Yo, Clever Lane beat the yeah. shit out that nigga. <laughs> Did he? I told you. I told, I told you. you. I told you. Uh, <laughs> take, uh. take your woman. <laughs> hey, woman. Hey, yeah. woman. <laughs> Yo. Why don't you come over here and <laughs> leave that loser? Leave, oh, leave, leave that gabagool. Oh, <laughs> leave that gabagool. Oh, <laughs> shit with a real man like. <laughs> Oh man! Yo, you know what's fucked up in Rocky Four? Like Adrian was totally he couldn't run. <laughs> what kind, where does support go, <laughs> my nigga? You wasn't supposed oh, to be doing that shit. That was fucked stop, up, my nigga. Then, so you can't win, Rock. Damn, nigga. Nah, because cause niggas looked at Apollo as like the <laughs> toughest motherfucker ever. And it was like, all right, you be getting your ass whipped through all the oh, movies, then you got this man. steroid ass Russian, <laughs> and then you expect to beat this motherfucker. Like, look at this nigga. <laughs> He got at least <laughs> like like five inches of height on you. Yeah. He way bigger than you. He gonna fuck. He killed Apollo <laughs> in your face. And now mm. you want to fight this nigga? It's like I'm afraid. That <laughs> <laughs> nigga did it anyway. Shout out to Rock. Yeah. Rocko. Okay. Shout out to Rocky. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, my pick is Power of X. I've been uh, <laughs> up on them comic books. There, I think they're coming out every Wednesday for like the next eight weeks or yeah, something like they, that. Like alternating titles. Right? Well, not eight weeks. I think it's like twelve or fourteen weeks or something like that. So yeah, so so they are alternating. So uh, next issue to come out is Power of X issue two. Then uh, yeah, House of X two. Then Power of X two. Then you know so on and so forth. But them shits is good. If you haven't uh, been up on X Men before, and it, like this is a good starting point. If you have been up on X Men, like you, you either was, was watching the series or you was uh, reading the comic books, whole new twist on the shit blows your fucking mind. So pick it up at your local comic store and uh, get in on this goodness. So uh, what else? That's it? I believe so. No other bullshit coming out your mouth? You good? (laughs) All right, cool. (laughs) Why? Why? Why is it me? Why do you say the shit you say? <laughs> Fuck you, me. Why? I ask my shit. I ask myself that all the time. Like, why? <laughs> Once it leaves your mouth, I'm like, why? <laughs> like, no, nothing in your brain just says no. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, I can just hear it. Like, it's just in there. I don't. I don't just the vulgarity. It just. I don't. <laughs> 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 I haven't said that in a long time. I'm saying I'm proud of you. Yeah, see, it's been I, at least thirty some episodes. I can, uh, I can grow. <laughs> no, I can evolve it's, as a it's, person. It'll, it'll be back. <laughs> it won't be. It, all right. I removed it from the vernacular. I haven't okay. said that in a while. Okay, cool. On the show. On <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we done. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. So, Ninja <laughs> Vanish. Uh, we out of here. Dose.